Hello everyone, and we're going to be discussing which leader class would be better for your purchase, so that would be between Scourge and the Fallen. Now, I originally started filming this video May 18th and just kind of stopped. I decided to finally finish it, so I decided to break this into a few parts between accuracy, transformation, details, articulation, accessories. So without any more time, let's get started. So starting off first, we have the Fallen right here. And right off the bat, the feel is a little light, I would say. The quality is a little inconsistent, like on this side, it's a little loose and comes apart. While on this side, you would have to take it apart. Now, Scourge is a very hefty and strong leader class, made of really, like, really strong materials. Due to the fact that he does have a larger backpack than the Fallen does. For accessories, the Fallen comes with his staff pieces that can be ripped in two, and combined to form the staff when standing up is as tall as the Fallen. Not sure if this counts, but... His face comes packaged separately. Now onto Scourge, he only comes with one accessory, and that's his weapon that can be replaced with his regular arm. And then the gun can tab on the back of his, you know. Gimmick wise, the Fallen can rip his face off, and he has a movable mouth right here. While Scourge not so much, but you can move the sword so he can hold it in a position like this. And then you can pop off the grill to reveal some interesting details. May or may not be spoilers to Rise of the Beast. Something they both have going for them is they both have light piping. The transformation on Scourge is a little difficult, but it's way funner than the Fallen's, I have to admit. Everything stays in place, almost has a satisfying feel to it, but the clear plastic on the back of the truck mode is a little terrifying. And there are some parts forming involved. Fallen, on the other hand, is very floppy and not really enjoyable to do. I cut most of the transmission because it was just that bad. Just the build quality is not that very good compared to Scourge up here next. Scourge is very solid. He's not coming apart anytime soon. Scourge's alt mode is just such a treat to look at. It's very accurate in all the right places. Now for movie accuracy, this belongs to the Fallen. If we pair him up with the CGI model, I'll pull up here to the right. You can see that the both of them are one-to-one -to, -one to each other. Scourge, on the other hand, is basically only accurate in the vehicle mode if we compare him to his CGI model. He's just kind of inaccurate in the arms, how thin he is, the head. But then, Scourge is not a bad figure, but if you're in for accuracy, definitely go for the Fallen. Now, not to say either one of the figures are bad, both are good in their own rights. Just in my own opinion, I have to say Scourge is probably better. I have done more stop motions with him, rather than the Fallen. While Scourge had that movie hype with Rise of the Beast, the Fallen had the hype from Studio Series Day 1 with the Studio Series figure that everyone was wishing for ever since the line started back in 2018. I don't want to say they lowballed him, they did add the gimmick with the face coming off and his staff, but he has no ratchet joints whatsoever which Scourge has over him. But what do you guys think? Who is the better leader class between Scourge and the Fallen? I will be doing this as a series. Next up will be Armada Megatron vs Prime Universe Skyquake. Which of those two you think is better? That is it for today's video. I'll see you in the next video and have a good one.